Hey dolls, it's Theodore here with Ask Theodore Thursday. Sorry I've been away, I've been busy making tons of other videos, but I've got a lot planned for Ask Theodore Thursday, so don't worry. I actually had this really fun idea of doing Ask Theodore Thursdays in conjunction with like a live podcast slash radio show. So I actually did a test a few days ago and it went really well. It was so fun, I got to talk to one of my dolls from San Diego and answer her hair question. And it's just a cool different way to interact with all my dolls and do Ask Theodore Thursdays at the same time. So next week I'm gonna plan Ask Theodore Thursdays as a podcast so that you guys can all call in live. And you call in through Skype. So you can call in from all over the world because I know I have a lot of international dolls that would love a chance to get in and ask a question live. So watch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for more information. Um, and if you have any questions about Ask Theodore Thursdays uh, where you can actually call in, you can also email me at ask at theodoreleaf.com. But tons of people have already done that, so we're gonna go ahead and answer their questions right now. Oh, P.S. I did this uh, video outside because it's gorgeous here today. L.A. is giving me sunshine, fabulosity, and I had to share it with all of my dolls. So that's why we're outside. Okay, the first question is, Hi, Theodore. I just love you. Aw, I love you back. Well, I have a question for you. So my hair is black, and when I say black, I mean blue-black. I've had this color for almost seven years now, and I just don't feel any other color goes with me, but I'm tired of this look, and I want something different. I know all about that. For me, bleaching is not a choice because it damages the hair and too much and weakens it. How else would you change its color or color it? Do you, or what color do you think is best for me? I have olive toned skin. My hair is mostly straight. And if I do bleach it, it turns out to be kind of a copper or orange. I don't want this to happen. Please help. Thank you from Puerto Rico. Genesis. All right, Genesis, here's the thing. When you have black hair, if you wanna add any sort of color to it and make it really, really light, bleach is gonna be your only option. However, if you're okay with a caramel tone, you can absolutely do that with a high lift tint, which is like a high lift hair color. Now, the thing is, those are gonna be warmer tones. So when you say orangey and brassy and, and all of those um, copper, all those descriptors are telling me that you're not a fan of warm hair, so in the reds family. So honestly, you really don't have a lot of options versus bleach highlights or more of a warm caramel highlight done with a high lift tint. Um, other than that, you can go red, but sounds like you don't want to do that either. So if you could get the right highlight that wasn't too coppery and wasn't too orangey, I think you'd really be happy with the dimension that it adds to your hair and it'd be a really fun way to change it up. The other thing that you can do is you can also just clip in some hair extensions that have some highlights in them just for the night. And you can go as bright as you want with that because the thing is, it's not gonna damage your hair. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. All right, the next question is, hey Theodore, I love, 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 love every single one of your videos. Keep rocking the hair. You see, I have a hair problem, um, tear, and I can't seem to fix it. I have naturally curly hair that is very thick. I flat iron my hair in the winter so I don't get sick of, um, from air drying. So I don't get sick from air drying, okay. Ever since I started doing that, the front top section of my hair is very limp, dry and frizzy every time I wear my hair curly. If you have any tips, pointers, or suggestions um, on this, I would really appreciate it, you answering this question. Thanks and congratulations. Love your videos, Allison. Okay, Allison, as a curly-haired person myself, I understand the woes of curls. And when you straighten it, it's not as curly, and trust me, I've been there. The thing that I would recommend for you to do is a really moisturizing conditioning treatment. It sounds like your curls are feeling a little dry, and when the drier they are, the less curly they are. The more moisturized, the more healthy your hair is, the more it's going to curl. So it sounds to me like it's time for a conditioning treatment. All right, give it a shot. The last question is, hey Theodore, I love your videos. So my friend Michelle has a hair dye problem. All right, Michelle. Uh, her hair is naturally dirty blonde, but she wanted to dye it brown. She accidentally left the dye on too long and now it's darker than she expected. No matter what she does, she can't get back to her blonde hair. What should she do? Love, Paolo, 17 years old. Okay, 
Here's the thing with hair that's gone too dark. If you're a dirty blonde, you absolutely need to go to a salon and have an actual color correction service done on your hair. There is no home remedy that I would recommend. There's no cleansing treatment that I would recommend. It sounds like this is sort of past the point of no return. And the thing is about naturally dirty blonde hair, which I would know about because I have it, is it has a translucence to it that's very, very hard to get in a natural, or sorry, in an unnatural capacity, meaning hair color, chemicals, glosses, things like that. So to really truly get back to your natural, it's going to have to grow out. However, a proper salon, a color expert can get your hair much, much closer to your desired result than where you're started now. But this is by no means something that you're gonna to wanna to take on yourself. Um, when I do ask Theodore Thursdays, I really love to give people tips and tricks on things that they can do themselves, but I'm the first person to send somebody to a salon if I feel like it's more than, if you've bit off more than you can chew type of a thing. So. When I'm answering these questions, I really do have your best interest at mind, and there are a lot of things that you can do yourself, but there is a lot of things that we as professionals need to do for you, and this is one of them. All right, that's been Ask Theodore Thursdays. It's been super fun to hang out outside with all my dolls and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, stay tuned for Ask Theodore Thursdays Live, which will be a live call-in show where you can actually call me um, you don't have to do it through Skype. It's just a normal phone number here in America. You can call me and ask your hair question and we can have a chat about it. So I'm looking forward to lots of fun changes here on the Theodore Leaf YouTube channel. And until next time, bye dolls.